well, it's officially the cold season of the year. We're approaching the first day, first official days of winter. And this time of the year, it's tough to get outside with your kids, get them exercise and keep them active. Maybe, you know, drain some of that energy as well when they're uh, not in school. And a great way to go about that is to get them involved in a sport. Of course, easier said than done uh, for the younger aged kids. But one, but one uh, local basketball camp is helping to change that here in our local community here in Oakland County. We're joined now by Eddie Okanuski from Eddie O Basketball Camps on today's edition of the MegaCast. Eddie, thanks for being with us. Well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, glad to have you on. I have previously participated in Eddie O Basketball Camps. It's been a long time. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> far removed from being a fourth grader uh, at the at the eldest age, but this is a really uh, interesting camp because it, it doesn't just facilitate basketball games it really goes into teaching kids uh the basics of basketball certainly the fundamentals but also the fundamentals of team sports that's correct yes um this, this basketball program has been going on for for decades um it, it's kind of embarrassing to say that but uh it has been and you're right so this is a a basketball league that starts on saturdays uh in january and and part of the league is obviously playing basketball games but part of it is 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 just like t-ball or um rec soccer it's it's a, a practice session but during that practice session half the half the session is practice half the session is a game um, but i will stop the practice session 10 15 minutes into it and get all the groups together and do skill work and at the most rudimentary level we start in preschool uh, we have a preschool league kindergarten league first grade all the way up to now it's fifth grade um we we spend quite a bit of time on ball handling uh because that is probably the the, the 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 area that students can really improve the most um are we doing shooting and passing all that absolutely we are but really focusing heavily on that ball handling um then they go back to their teams uh for uh, uh the rest of the practice session and then we have games um this all takes place at west hills middle school um for our youngest divisions we have seven courts there uh in the oldest division um we will have four courts um at west hills middle school and we also have uh, a beautiful facility at bloomfield hills high school that we use uh, for the older kids as well um younger kids you know we have adjustable baskets older kids they're at the 10 foot level so great experience that's a, we we do market as a, a family atmosphere um people bring their whole families um and uh it's a great way to spend a saturday morning or saturday afternoon in the in the cold depths of winter so <laughs> it's a little bit about our basketball league you can find more information on on the league uh, and inquire about it by going to facebook.com slash Eddie O basketball. And also you can register at bloomfield.org slash recreation uh, in partnership with the Bloomfield Hills School District. Of course, that's where the facilities for Bloomfield Hills High School and West Hills Middle School are ran through facebook.com slash Eddie O basketball. And, and so for, for uh, Eddie, for uh, families that maybe you know, don't know what what sports their kids might be passionate about or you know haven't quite developed some of these hobbies or even are just trying to get their kids out and socializing a little bit more outside of the classroom environment why is something like this basketball camp a great opportunity to kind of check all those boxes and of course get those kids that physical activity during the winter that's a great question tyler and i get asked that quite a bit and and this is really a rec basketball league it's a it's a uh, it's not travel um it is a rec basketball league i i do let people know if they're interested in that more competitive um kind of atmosphere we i have different um places for them to go it's not my program but if that's what you want that's where you go um you know, especially at the preschool kindergarten first grade second grade level um the skills um are not what they would be in high school obviously so we do get a lot of beginners and it's it is about just effort and improvement that's our two things we really focus on effort and improvement um at the earliest grade levels uh, there's no stealing um there's no double teaming and no pressing so uh at the kindergarten level every year i have parents who'll come up to me and say eddie yo i thought this game was going to be two to zero and it ended up being 36 to 34. 
there's a lot of up and down. Um, uh, it, it's it's uh, it's it's um, you know the students have uh, reversible jerseys and shorts. Uh, it really looks and feels like real basketball, but at the same time, um, with no stealing at a very rudimentary level in the early elementary, uh, it avoids the the fouling and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's a uh, it's a great way to get introduced into basketball, um, and we. Um, really work hard to put students from the same school on the same team because uh, they want to play with their friends. Uh, we do have a 10 person limit on each team. And that really is for the coaches. We have volunteer coaches um, who've done a great job um, right along. Um, I've had coaches who've been here for several years. Uh, some coaches are brand new. A lot of times it's two and three coaches that work together because uh, Saturdays can be busy and can't make all those times. Um, but they they do a phenomenal job, and they do um, really uh, follow the philosophy um, of of the Eddie O basketball camp. And there's a if you go to eddieobasketball.com, you'll see where the philosophy is, league rules. Um, you know, we really again encourage effort and improvement, and really de-emphasize the winning and losing. Uh, there's going to be time for that as students get older. And, and yes, we have score clocks, um, but really try to de-emphasize that. Uh, when you see a, a first grade game, uh, the score in real, in real life might be 22 to 2, uh, but that score clock is only to say 12 to 2. And there's only a, 12, a 10 point margin. And, and a lot of it is because the players can't focus. You know, they're looking at 22 to 2 and that's all they can think about. And coach, it's 22 to 2. Mom, it's 22 to 2. Can you believe it's 22 to 2? And so we really kind of focus on that 10-point differential so the students can really focus on, again, effort and improvement, getting used to playing basketball, getting used to get up and down the court. Um, and, and quite frankly, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's for a more advanced kid also who just loves to play. So we really hit all of the different um, areas um, when it comes to skill level uh, of basketball. So uh, come and join us. It's a, it's a great program to have and and uh, been love doing it for quite a long time. EddieOBasketball.com for more information. You can also find them on Facebook at facebook.com slash EddieOBasketball as well. The camp begins January 28th of next year and runs through March 18th. Again, more information, EddieOBasketball.com or you can contact uh, Eddie O himself, Eddie, at EddieOBasketball.com with any questions and information, as well as if you'd like to become uh, a coach for uh, your kids' team or another team in the league during this season that begins, of course, with the coaches meeting on January 21st before the January 28th beginning of the season. And uh, so, uh, Ed, for you, uh, ha having been the man behind this camp, uh, been the one who founded and created this and been running this for uh, as long as you have, where really, really was that origin for you, where you, where you decided to, you know, make this happen, and and uh, put this plan into action? Well, <clears throat> uh, started my teaching career in the late '80s, and honestly, it was a, uh, I was a, I was a teacher and a coach at Andover High School, um, coached uh, varsity basketball, varsity boys golf, varsity girls golf, always was a sports advocate, um, played high school basketball, four years of college basketball. So it was always in my, my blood. <laughs> and um, the rec director at the time asked if I wanted to do a camp for kindergarten or third graders through third graders. And I'm like, yeah, it sounds great. And so that was the start of this whole program. And it started with a summer camp, which still goes on today. Also, we do uh, three weeks of kindergarten through third grade basketball camp. We call it um, small shooters fun camp. Um, which is, is, is just a, another layer of the Eddie O basketball. Um, we do those in July, um, but started it that way. And, and it has evolved, you know, throughout the years. And, it, and it's really evolved because we got great parent support and, and great, great uh, parent input. And, um, and, and we started this a couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, a couple of decades ago now was uh, our, our parent slash coach game. So at the end of the season, um, you know, we, we've played, you know, several basketball games and coach has been in there helping and parents have been around and we have this parent coach game where I have reversible jerseys for the parents as well. 
and it's moms playing against moms, it's dads playing playing against dads, and it is a blast. It's a blast because the kids are out there and they get to see their parents playing. They they're so excited. Uh, uh, a lot of great memories ha have been made. Um, I, I work here at Brother Rice High School as the principal and have had um, incoming ninth graders come in and and their dads or moms and dads specifically. I remember this. It's like when my kid was in first grade, I played in that game and I was the MVP and I'll always remember that, you know, and it's just a great memory for um, their, their parents, you know, our, the, the, these times go by so fast, you know, I always say the, the days are long, but the years go by so fast and, and this is just a great opportunity to spend time with your family, create some memories, um, you know, and, and, and again, just mark it as really good family time as well. So, yeah. Videobasketball.com is the website to learn more information uh, as well as to register uh, your kids to play in this league, of course, pre-K through four, uh, through fifth grade now. And, and uh, the camp begins on January 28th, Eddieobasketball.com. And uh, Ed, who, who is this camp open to? Is it just in the Bloomfield Hills School District or is it open to those in the uh, throughout the local community? Good, good question. It, it's, it originates here in Bloomfield Hills. Um, but if you're outside the district, it's an extra $5 to participate. You do have to create a free community pass uh, account, um, which you can uh, locate through the website that Tyler was talking about. Um, it, and it, it is, it is people from all over the community. Um, you know, I do have, uh, referees that work on the weekends, you know, for these games and they're former basketball players that in the Eddie League. Um, the, the camp counselors um, who are high school and college students in the summertime, most of the time, they're, they're former players. And, and this summer and this winter, too, I, I had um, people uh, working from uh, 11 different schools. If it's Brother Rice, Marion, Bloomfields High School, Groves, Seaholm, Notre Dame Prep, uh, there are several schools that uh, that um, you know that our kids uh, go to or come from, and and um, and and to your point, Tyler, it's open to anybody. Um, and the next step is, you know, as you having a great time at this and enjoying it, and, and you might be as a student or a player find yourself in a role as a coach later on at the summer camp or or as a referee in the winter basketball league. So. Um, that's pretty exciting and, and uh, love that, that, you know, I can say that these, you know, uh, referees and coaches were one of the players in the league, you know, years before. So, yep, but it's open to everybody and um, love that you have the website up there and that's the best way to get some more information. So. EddieOBasketball.com is that website. Again, the camp begins on January 28th. Registration through the Bloomfield Hills School District can also be found at Bloomfield.org. Ed, thanks for joining us. All right. Thanks for having me. Have a great Appreciate day, everybody. It.